Typical Blade Day. Well, let's see. First ship. Let's see. Well, not a good one, but we'll see what happens. So, Big Smear. Then, who else? TXT. And we are full. There we go. And the ship name. I lost my previous trick with Fed, Fed A. The first member you pick up, sure. Hopefully I will remember. Starting with a burst laser 2, what could go wrong? Yeah, the burst laser 2 going down. And then I'm getting other weapons. It's not that unlikely. But anyway, let's go. You run, you hope. Well, we'll see. Only this nebula jump, early store, but I have nothing for it. I really want to avoid drones with Federation ships because of the artillery. Okay, first fight. I can take damage, but it's not that bad. At least, well, as long as I'm not losing weapons. Close. I also have a fire. Very not nice. Let the system repair the run. As long as I can keep dealing one damage, I'm okay with it. I have to keep the artillery in check and use it only if necessary though. Because they could try to run away. Unlikely, but possible. And I can kill them, whatever. Well, civilians had nothing. What a surprise. Uh, scary fight. Pirates, so let's check the crew. Mantis is repairing, at least. That's the only good thing. There is the engine as well, though. Ooh, okay. Sure. Nice fire, even if it doesn't do anything. Okay, delay is the repair there, so I guarantee this hit. And then they shall die with my artillery. One scrub, and I can get a weapon buffer, really. Oh, 
looking as well. It's even low scrap reward just for the sensor station. It's a burst laser too and navy laser. And they have cloaking. This enchants that I'm losing weapons. I think this is not worth it. Like, I can kill them, but I'm taking damage for sure. And the scrap that I'm getting out of it... It's low. And the sensor station, considering the layout of this sector, is not that valuable. I mean, it could be... I have, um... Ah, oh, shit, I don't know. Like... Above the exit there are multiple jumps and I might be able to pick the fights instead of empty jumps. This is a scary fight though. Yeah, this is a map update and the close crop. If I had the buffer point in weapons, I will be okay with the fight because I will need double it in weapons to lose it, which is, which is very unlikely. And if if they remove my weapon with the first volley, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm not taking that fight. If I had a, a buffer point, I would. I mean, it will be a shit sector one though. Oh look, a training ship. System repair drone. Shall just stop the artillery for now. And we train against this. Evasion and weapon training. I said that. Am I doing it? This is not a good ship and I'm not in a great spot since I got no scrap this sector, so... I don't know, maybe maybe I'm doing it. I mean, it's not that bad to train weapons though. Like, it takes longer to get some bio kills with certain ships than to train weapons. Sweeper. Yeah, whatever. I mean, technically, I can play Minesweeper anyway. Shields training. I get shields training if it happens. Most ships, you don't even have the crew for shields training anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, there we go. That was a misclick. One here, second to this. Going for evasion training too. It's very boring. Sadako maybe. I called, I just didn't... Ah oh, no. This was another misclick. Go see if I find something else. I don't mind Minesweeper because it's fast. Into the bridge. Into the bridge is not fast. That's the problem. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind. Exciting in Sadaka. Excels. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, and honestly, I'm I'm not even playing uh, Minesweeper well. I'm just I just want to click stuff. Yeah, I'm really not paying that much attention. It will take a while for weapons. Fuck. Am I really doing weapons? Jesus Christ. It's horrible. Okay, I like clicking, but not mindlessly clicking. I need to scrap this sector though, otherwise I'm in a very 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 bad spot. Fucking Federation, eh? Why well, do I have to start with this? Hey, Connie Ray, thank you. I don't know if skipping the previous fight was good or not. It was a very bad fight though. Burst laser too heavy with clocking before having two shields or a buffer point in weapons. I don't know.
Uh, if that fight was an outpost, I will take the fight. But for a sensor thingy... When... I mean, I don't have that many options for my jumps anyway. I don't know, it doesn't seem worth it. Hey, for our... Just drop flux. Yeah, sure. I need the scrap to play it as well, though. But sure. A flux with Federation A. And you're in a very good spot for a while. Imagine doing all this training and then dying anyway. Because this ship is bad. It's actually worth to fully train your crew. It's an advantage, but you shouldn't do it. Especially not early on. Like, it's better to just learn the game than to... Because if you sit like this every fight just to train your crew... Like, you should just play normally and uh, learn the game. Like, this is if you really want to min-max. But it's not necessary. You get an advantage, but it's not necessary. Yeah, especially when you for a new player, you shouldn't do this. Because, um, it wouldn't even make that much of a difference, so, and it's boring. Just had a Federation A run. I mean, I lost my previous trick with this ship, so... I might lose this one as well. But essentially with this ship you want to upgrade weapons first. So you get a weapon buffer. And uh, it doesn't do anything but it protects your weapon. The burst laser from going down if you take one random damage into weapons. Then you get shields up. And after that you start uh, keeping scrap for a weapon. Getting another weapon is very important for this ship. With most ships. I mean, one is here for sure. That was a mistake. So, evasion is... Okay, I mean, not, not really. Not fully trained. I promise that it will go for weapons as well, so let's do it. I mean, it's not like... I'm over 56 every day. Fuck it, if I die, I don't have to do it anymore, so... Sure. Let's do it. I'm stuck here. One, two, three, four, five. So at least five. Ah. So four left in this all this area. Let's do this then. Three left in all this area. Yeah. Can do this then. Hey, Guzman, and discomfort. Mm. 
Easy. I didn't promise gold training. That's true. Weapon buffer first. It sucks because I couldn't get it for um, one scrap. Let's train this weapon. Fuck it. It's also because I'm not in a good spot. I'm almost at the end of this sector and I got 24 scrap. So... Yeah. Not good. Another bad thing about this ship is... Bio kills are very, very, very unreliable. It's very rare that you can get a bio kill with this one. Always put the rock on piloting, yes. On weapons? No, I never put the rock on weapons. It's always the NG and if I have to repair and switch it with the Mantis for the fight, for that specific fight. I want the NG there, so if I take damage, he can repair immediately. If I take damage somewhere else, well, I can move the NG and use the Mantis momentarily. But I want the NG there. Mantis and engines, human on weapons, engine doors. Repairing weapons is too important for me. Engine doors is too far away. I want the rock in piloting because you don't want to, I don't want to move the rock. I really don't want to move the rock. They want them to move it from weapons either. I mean, if I have to move it, I'd rather move it from weapons than piloting, though. Like, sometimes it's fine to move the guy away from weapons. Depending on the fight, it's fine. From piloting, very rarely. Also because, like, if I need the NG for repairs, I can put the Mantis there and move the NG. Like... I can keep something else there, but then I, I can move the others. Like, I'm not saying what I'm doing is the best thing, by the way. I'm just saying that that's why I like doing this. She's training past 84. Yeah, sure. I'm okay with that. I misclicked. I wanted to click here. What the fuck? I can't even aim with my mouse. Jesus. Ready shields every time. Yeah, I should. But I'm probably training shields before weapons anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. 
I could switch them around to train them somewhere else. I could do that. I mean, if you get fires on weapons, i rather have the NG there because, sure, the NG takes damage and the rock doesn't, but the NG repairs deals with that way faster than the rock. So I don't care if the NG takes the damage. It's, it's still getting the fire out way faster than the rock anyway. And if it's still not enough with the NG already there, having uh, the rock there as well wouldn't do anything. If, if the NG is not enough, then it, having the rock there will be the same really. And you can still vent in this area if you really want to. Fuck the drone. Why not rock pilot? He's already trained. I switched them because I don't know they can get other training in the meantime It doesn't matter, but well if something happens to one of them They have other training I guess I'm really stuck but I mean get vented It's very unlikely that I'm venting a crew with non-boarding ships Maybe you have to, well Give up my crew to the slavers again That could happen Yeah, also having the rock for piloting for fires here, it's a lot better. And sometimes protecting piloting, it's better than protecting weapons. For, from the fires. Shield trained. Nice. Favorite gunship build that you've had? I don't really have a favorite, but Vulcan Ion Bomb with Pre Igniter. It's nice. Almost done. Easy. Will it matters? Probably not. If I have to be really honest. But maybe. Oh, fuck. There was a, a misclick while I was reopening this tab. Double Vulcan. I don't think I ever did. Seems very unnecessary. Thank you. 
The first time I did the Vulcan Ion Bomb, it was a run where I got a free Ion Bomb, free Vulcan. I had nothing else, and there was pre igniter at the store, and so I say, I said, well, fuck it, let's go for it. And it was actually decent. It's not great, but it, it was decent. And it gets way better once you get docking. Because between Aking and Ion Bomb, enemy weapons are not firing for a while. You start with the Ion Bomb, just in case you miss, then you Ack. And it should be good. Nine. I'll finish this Minesweeper game and then I'm killing that ship. Can I though? Wait, nine bombs? Jesus. Um. Oh, I'm stupid. There was. Never mind. Whatever. So, this is train. Let's power up the artillery just in case. They might try to run away, so. Artillery up. I can buy kill this, they have a system repair drone. Uh, let's wait a little bit. I think now it's fine. Nice fire. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. Wait, did I train weapons train fire in the artillery? What? I I I didn't know you get training with the artillery. Well, okay, sure, I had no idea. up there anyway running away it means I have to tank the damage and hope this is not our Artemis if it's our Artemis it's horrible it's not nice Let's auto fire. Come on, artillery, you can do it. How was your misplay this early? Uh, I don't remember. How was it? I don't remember. This sector one is horrible. Shit. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, no scrap sector one. If I get a bad sector two, I'm dead. Let's get shields before leaving the sector. So, so far I got 46 plus 25. Okay, civilian, very good. Mm. Up or down? So going up is better for this sector here. Double uncharted though, right after the civilian, considering I'm already low on scrap. I'm going down. I can't. I can't have other sectors with low scrap. Please don't give me early stores because I need shields and then I have to collect. So essentially the objective for this sector, sector is get some scrap and get a second weapon. That's the plan. If that doesn't happen, I'm in a shit spot. What's the crew? Ah, oh, whatever. Out of fire weapons, and it shall be fine. Like one of the problem with Federation A is it's horrible for bio kills. You have no systems. Your weapons is too slow. So it's not a reliable. The, the only ships you can buy your kills are the one with Mantis in priority, with priority on repairs. Those are the only ones. And sometimes you fail those as well because of... Um... Well, they have having oxygen level 2, getting bad fires and things like that. Slug coughing ships, sure. But they're very rare in uh, the civilian sector. Okay, that's an early store, bad. Let's go up, maybe, maybe we can get enough scrap of here before the store. No, that's not scrap. Well, technically this is crap, as long as I don't die here, because it's pretty bad. Artemis? It's Artemis. Mother. Jesus Christ, scary. This is good, but I want the scrap. 
Ah, this is so good though. Fuck. I have to take this. I mean, if I'm killing them and getting what? 5 scrap more than this. And this is like 15 scrap plus 16. Like, this is so valuable. Do you need other fuel or drone parts? I might. I mean, it's 5 fuel to drone parts or like 6 scrap. Are you getting hacking anytime soon? I mean, it's possible. If the store is hacking and there are no more weapons, yes. Like, if I if I find the event that for the drone parts, I could sell three drone parts for 12 scrap. And this is suddenly way more scrap that I will get with this event. I mean, I don't think it's similar to the scrap recovery arm argument because you can still uh, give away fuel and drone parts for scrap if you get the right events. Like, I'm getting very little scrap out of this. It's not like I'm sacrificing. Because, sure, I I'm not saying this is 15 scrap plus 16 scrap, so it's 40 scrap if I take this. I'm not saying that. Because, obviously, that's not the case. But it's... Does thing compared to like like 15 scrap. Is this scrap going to make a difference? It's possible, but very unlikely. It's getting the fuel into drone parts going to make a difference. Again, possible, but unlikely. I'm taking this. Jesus Christ, another civilian sector that's completely empty. What the fuck? Ah, to do this. If the drone goes down, I can uh, remove one shield bubble. Going up here, I think it's too much. Four plus essentially five. Technically possible. Let's start going here and see. Of course, it's a fucking empty jump as well. Hey, it's Karen Ninja. I have a green sector three, but if it's if it's Zoltan, 
It's bad. I mean, I'm finding Zoltan ships here anyway, apparently. And they're fucking synced weapons as well. I should be fine now though. I don't care. What is the chance for an empty sector? Yeah, depends what you mean with that. I have to. Oh, there we go, no weapons, only hacking. Then I need engines three. Do I? Spy kill. Let's wait for Rocking at this point. I don't even know that if that's good. Because now I will have two guys there instead of just one. Especially if they're piloting as level one. When they decide to go for the two kill with hacking and not hacking, I cannot get this uh, to kill without hacking. I I don't use hacking if I have a a good chance of getting the kill without it. In this part, without hacking, it's impossible. Deva Med Bay, Oxygen Level 2, they're humans, and Burst Laser 2 is low. It's also mostly if you miss one volley, then you have to wait too much for the second one to keep it, to keep it down. I can't afford to upgrade piloting, if I find that event, uh, well, I have to skip it. Even the fucking thing is empty. Of course. I need this. I want the, f 
this crap, fuck it. Oh, nice, thank god it's not problematic. I mean, it could be, but unlikely. I cannot tell it. I mean, I, I couldn't tell, but... Even if it was level 1, it didn't matter. power bar for power bar one here one here I could power up the burst laser too as well if I get the power bar unlikely but maybe I can land one damage one shot and uh, sure whatever Let's go for it. I'm being greedy with docking gear. Hey, big smear. Maybe I can kill them. Just out of firing weapons until they die. And get one fuel. I mean... Well... Until I'm about to take damage, why not? If, if, if artillery removes shields, maybe, if they don't have a buffer, right? Of course, they have the buffer. Well, I can remove it. Maybe I got fires as well. Ah, oh, maybe not. That is definitely a fire. It doesn't matter. Give me that fuel. So let's see, Uncharted or... What? NG Civilian Zoltan. And then I'll have a forced... Uh, a forced red. NG Sector I don't know about that I have no scrap Only the... actually I have sold it already, right? Yeah, I have nothing that I can sell Also I will be forced into the red sector if I go NG I shall go Uncharted and... Uh, avoid the shit red sector if it's shit Maybe this is a civilian if this is Zoltan and this is red, well, I can still go there. I have 21 fuel, so Uncharted. Well, even if I get many empty jumps, I can explore as much as possible. Let's go Uncharted.
Time to, to collect more empty gems. Yep. I have to do this. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I just can't get my stuff back in time, back up in time, it's ridiculous. They are also high on my artillery, very, very great. <sighs> this is so annoying. Piece of shit. So fucking bad. But I needed the scrap. I want to see what what was the bomb. I think I'm by killing this one. I have to let them run out of bombs though. Keep this in check. I can take damage, but I don't know. I feel like it will risk. The artillery... I, I keep the artillery charging just in case something goes wrong. Oh 
many more. They're about to run out of bombs. Maybe last one. No. They have more. Okay. So, let's see this first. If it's level 1, I think I can do it without talking. If it's level 2, I have to walk as well. Yeah, double shields though makes this way more problematic. Level 1, okay. Then we try without arcing. Yeah, that training. Just in case I have to give out crew to slavers, right? Why not? If I miss, it's annoying, but. Like, I have to miss multiple volley to lose all the progress. I think I can afford to be greedy and not use Aking. Could even use my own. It's too late. I could have used my own oxygen as an indication. But, I mean, it shouldn't be a big deal. Not getting fires, that's good as well. Oxygen should be quite low, but I think I need one more shot because I missed that volley. So another one and then they, they will die, I think. Maybe now they'll die. I hope so. Ah, oh, fuck. Just remember. Of course. On attacking level 2, if the ship is dangerous, I have to walk shields to remove them. What the fuck is that? Yeah, they have nice weapons. I wish I had those weapons as well. 
Heavy laser, burst laser 2, Artemis. Very nice weapons. So this guy dies with the next volley, or at least the next hit. I can do this. I can't power out the FTL though, that's problematic. Unless I want to sacrifice my oxygen. Let him in so I can deal damage to him. Maybe get fires. Keeping artillery in check until I really need it. Fuck you. I do hard artillery. Scrub for the store. Jesus Christ, this run is so bad. It could be seven like that, but I would like to get enough scrap for a weapon into jumps. I don't know. You know what? I have to do it. If I lose a crew member, fuck it. So 65. I could buy a almost like the only weapon that I can't buy is a burst laser too. Heavy laser will be incredible. I, I have to check the sport the store regardless. I never screw in events. Of course it's Albert. Like, Albert is great, but it's so fucking difficult to put online. Unless I just put play Albert and not burst laser for now. I, I need a weapon. You rarely take the events that can lose your crew members. I think this is one of the cases where it was worth it. What the fuck am I hacking here? It's one shield, but... It should be a Leto, but I know protection for the Albert. God, I don't know what to do here. Alright, I have to rename one of uh, the human. The problem is, if I deal to damage, that missile is still online. They could have 4 weapon power then, that could be uh, uh, Artemis anyway though, right? Because the idea was, yes, Ak weapons and Albert there. I deal 1 damage. If that's a letter, they keep the chain laser up. Maybe the thing is enough to, I don't know. I think it's weapon weapons arc though.
Okay, I can do this as well. To power my... Well, maybe I can do that instead. Let's see what I'm getting done. Ah, uh, so I need my shields. Yeah, I can't. Ah, nice. Okay, never mind, it went well. What is our out here? Get, if I get scrap, I have everything I need to win the run. I have my weapons and I have hacking. I need scrap. The problem this run is I'm not getting enough scrap. But at this point, I just need scrap. So if I can survive, I shall be fine. I wanted to do something. Oh, I had to rename this. Uh, I had a very early redeem bef from before, right? Yeah. So you have to wait big smear. Oh, well, there is not enough space for the entire name. Long dive. It's a. It's not even a nebula dive. I think it's too risky. I called, but I don't know if I want to take that risk. It will be a dive with hacking on weapons, engines three, maybe engines four. But I mean, if I need to use scrap for engines, it's still quite bad. Boarding. Is that only the rock? Please don't remove hacking or weapons. That's fine. He's not firing, right? Twenty six. It's four jumps for the dive. Ah, oh God. I need the power bars first. Like, I'm, I don't have power as well. That's another problem. Next sector is the first red, right? Don't attack weapons or don't attack weapons. That's fine. Don't fire. I need those drone parts. Jesus. 
Yeah, imagine going down there and then be having abandoned. So NG home world. I could take three fi three jumps before the dive. Shit, I don't know. It's very very risky. Like I had to tank one ASB shot for sure. It's three damage. I don't know. It feels. Hey, yeah, runs from robots. If I'm diving, I need engines for. That's 30 scrap there. So for weapons, I need 85. You could really use the scrap? Sure, but I can't use the scrap if I die. If it was a nebula dive, I will go for it for sure. Also, without scanners, this is uh, those are uncharted um, beacons. They could very easily be empty. And I, and I could take also they could be ion storms. And so in ion storms. Especially against bad auto ships, I can take even more damage before the dive. I don't think I'm in a position where I can risk this. I'm, I'm not diving here. Let's go here first. This is perfectly fine. No problem. I could have repaired a bit less for one power bar, honestly. Maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have. Since I did, I might as well repair a bit more. What's the least amount of scrap I can get? Can I get less than 10 in Sector 4? Drone parts, I can't. 11. 
11. Let's do this. We'll see what I'm marking. Clocking, really? With no engines. If they're clocking is shit, I can knock. Uh, ah, shit. Do a counter arc for the evasion. And to run away in, in case it's shit. Like, if I was 100% sure this was clocking level 1, I will lock weapons. But I'm not. And considering I don't have really the power for it, I think I'm using the blue option here. Of course it was level 1. Oh, we are too ho. Really? Great. Another great fucking fight. Clock in 3 in Sector 4. I don't think so, but it could be clock in 2. Actually, I, I don't know. Maybe they can. But I think it's only a specific auto ship that can have clock in three, though. And uh, the rock quest. I think everything else is one or two. better now. Okay, now I stabilize with those upgrades. Pretty sure I can do this without arcing. How the fuck did I? I don't know when I. I don't know how that happened. Like it was well positioned, and then when I clicked, I fucking moved down. <sighs> Jesus Christ! It's fine. I don't know, sometimes. It's okay. No. I had so much fuel, it's gone. No. I'm not risking 5 damage, even if it's like 1 in 3. I 
this fucking store. What are we looking for? Scrap. That's it. Scrap and clocking. Nothing else. Battery will be nice as well, but not as important as everything else. Advanced navigation is definitely something I'm not looking for. Scanners. I mean, scanners will be nice, but. Nice battery. Outpost, finally. After, I don't know. It's okay. Clocking level 2. Is it level 3? Yep, clocking level 3. There we go. Piece of shit. Zoltan or Mantis, Mantis for sure. shields especially before that asteroid fight a letter mm. so it's not going down I would have taken this damage anyway if I had acted somewhere else. So. Was my burst laser ready before that thing fired? I think I can't be greedy. Maybe I can. Okay, so it was still... Okay. I have two options. Get shields now. Or take this fight, skipping the asteroid one. To get clocking here. I think I, I can do that. And I'm doing this mostly because I like I, I would have upgraded the shields if it wasn't for the map update. I'm doing this just because of the map update and because this is a mantis sector. Nice ship by the way. Chain iron, stun bomb, basic laser. 
This one is scary. I talk shields. Wait. Yeah, mantis are, vul are vulnerable to ion bomb apparently. Just gone to the mad bay. It's worth upgrading doors now. I have enough crew members to deal with borders. It, it's too expensive. I. I could get very bad boarding uh, from events, but I had to deal with with the borders normally. Okay. Nice. So what do I want next? Engines 4, Akin 3, Clock in 2. What first? Shield 3? No. Now that I got a... Shield 3 was only if I didn't get clocking. If I have clocking, I'd rather upgrade something else first. In that event, which is the correct option, send in the rock or the NG. I'm pretty sure it's the, the same. It doesn't matter what you use. I'm clocking that and then I'm using... Uh, I'm not hacking here. Uh, really? I mean, this will go before this anyway. So I have another chance. And I can just kill them. Where's the dead? So I, we have 100% evasion and you don't have, we don't have to gamble with a 95. So if I take damage during clocking, it's my fault. This double mount is annoying. Okay, now I don't want to have a... Ah, fuck. Mm -hmm. 
It's too late. I was planning to use Aking um, after the first volley if it was not enough to deal with the missile. But then I was dealing with the border and I just didn't. It's okay. Uh, technically, two damage is six scrap. Head drum part is eight, but you shouldn't analyze it that way because you cannot repair whenever you want. I could dive here. Well, that's convenient. One, two, and then dive. Engines four o'clock in two. I think it's fine. Die for double the um, empty jump, MP, empty beacon. Nice, I got something. Yeah, I, at least one of them was very, very, very likely to be empty because I had an entire map update, and Monte sectors actually have um, multiple empty jumps. But I think it was still uh, worth the risk. No boarding, nice. Maybe I could have avoided. Uh, I mean, I didn't know if this was Hermes or Breach. Ah, shit. Well, I guess you guys can gamble. There we go. Lock in three time. I need Ak in three first. One minute. Yeah, I'm going out of the nebula, so let's wait. So we are at 60% yes, 40% no. Already 15k on the line. Not bad. Twenty seconds left. Envoy will be quite bad here. I mean, you can get the shields and I can move the mantis, but yeah. It's not very right. So 59% and 41%. Let's see. If you're getting the quest. 
Oh god. I still... No, I shouldn't be greedy. I 14 drumpers now. Nah, fuck this. Jesus Christ, that's crap. The fuck? Ooh, what about this one? Let's try. I can clock everything, right? Yeah, barely, that was risky. Why am I doing this exactly? I mean, I'm full, but this is a Zoltan sector. I can't be full for that long. Oh my god. Really? Sector 1 was uh, shields, buffer, which is 75, and uh, the drone for 17, and I don't remember if I had something else. Maybe I had leftover scrap. Oh, you have to go here. <laughs> Fucking intruder. <laughs> The second sector was pretty bad as well, considering it was a civilian. Too many empty jumps or just thing that I can do nothing about. I skipped one fight in sector 1, but it was bad. It was like auto ship in a, f on the sensor station, which is low scrap reward, with clocking, burst laser 2, heavy, when I still had one shield and no buffer point in weapons. I still think it was the right choice, especially considering that sector layout. Even with the map update at that point, I was getting like maybe one more fight. Last sector was incredible. I mean, yeah, sure. This shit, like, once I got the Albert and the scrap to upgrade that, the run was fine. And then obviously clocking on top of this is great. I wouldn't mind another weapon, something like heavy laser would be the best thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even more jumps. I have to remember that this is a Zoltan sector. Uh, 
Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, it's not in a shit spot. It has winning points. I think uh, the other quest is to close, so I'm not going to put the prediction for the other one. Clumbe better than Medbay. It's better if you're boarding. Like it's, it's situational. I think the the Clumbe it's overall a bit better than the Medbay in general, because you have many events that you can take with the Clumbe compared with the, um, to the ones that are available with the Medbay, and um, but that's about it. I like Columbe over Medbay though a lot with boarding ships. But unless you're boarding, you shouldn't switch. So you play with whatever you have at the start. It's a waste of scrap. Do I buy that flock and plan to upgrade weapons? 165 plus 65, so the 30 scrap. I think it's fine. I could go for the small bomb, but I think I have enough. I will get enough scrap to play the flak. I think it's fine at this point to get it. It's envoy. Whatever. I think I have a four or five envoy streak. Heavy laser, not about the flock, obviously. You know what? Fuck it. This is fine. Mispositioned, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I can finish this. Can I? Yeah. No, you're not boarding again. Big smear the crew redeem, so is peace envoy now, I guess. Right. There we go. This is fine, Big Zmir, right? No problem. Ooh, Rubble Stronghold. I will lose his name. Maybe I should do this from the very beginning so people know if some if a name is available or not. Maybe I should do this so you know when you can redeem or not. Then again, I will forget anyway, so it's empty even if it's already redeemed. Looking around. Um I'll take the first jump first so we are not waiting two minutes. If it's not it, I'll do the thing during the fight. 
There we go. Let's see if you're looking around. Still there, yes. There we go. Let's wait for rocking. I'm, I'm not killing the ship anyway, so. What does looking around mean? Essentially, it's uh, one of the options that you have when you get the um, flagship under construction event in this sector. Essentially, it asks you if you want to look around or not. One, two, three, four. I don't think I can check every single one. Ninety six percent, yes. Yeah, the map update. Oh, well. But I mean, it's 96% yes. If you gamble no now, you can win a lot of points gambling almost nothing. So, no, it's looking very good actually. I need shields before this jump. Uh, this is annoying because I can't clock everything unless they delay for some reason. Zoltan? Sure, I'll rename. Okay, they're delaying, so maybe I can clock uh, at least both missiles. Maybe even this. Ah, I can't fucking wait. I needed like this fires in one second, even less. But I just couldn't wait longer than that. <laughs> There we go. I'm pretty sure it's random when the AI decides to fire immediately or wait. At least... I don't know. i never seen any pattern to it, so I assume it's random, but I'm not sure. Nice. Everyone is piloting level 3. Oh no. My artillery. That's the wrong weapon. Piloting level 3 as well. Jesus, okay, I mean, sure. It's fine, as long as their weapons are going down, I don't care. I could do one, two, three, if I want to. Yeah, but no, nah, I have to skip this one up, up here. A 
hopefully we look around soon. Maybe now. Easy. Well. 96%. So... We are winning some points, but not that much. Got one point. Incredible. Let's see. Second heavy laser, so I can just throw away the flock. No, stun bomb. Yeah, not, not exactly the same. I can go like this. Yeah, because it was 96%, yeah, so even if you win, you're not winning that much. I think it was good to bet no, because like, if you lose, you're not losing much, so whatever. So late. Shit. <laughs> Winning is everything. I mean, kind of depends what what you're winning. It's 190 for for the flock. Oh god. It, it should be too late though. Right? I guess, sort of. Almost block online. Outpost. Twenty drones. Annoying. But the annoying one is still up. Well, not anymore. Nice crab. Let's get this up. Easy. Nice weapon. Four top tier weapons. All different. All great. You bought a single Zolta ship in the last sector. Yeah, I think I avoided all Zoltan ships. I got more Zoltan fights in. 
Actually, I don't re I don't remember if it was this one, this run or another one, where I got many Zoltan fights in another sector. Probably was another run. I played too many runs recently, so I don't even know anymore. Stuff stuff that I want to sell. Well, I'm not hacking this. Attacking against Vulcan misplay. I don't know about that. If this, if that's not a pulsar, I think I'm taking uh, that other jump before leaving the sector. Look at this fucking guy. Can you stop? Uh, I can pilot thing was better, by the way. This sector, every single auto ship at the uh, piloting level 3. Of course, it's a pulsar. Why am I not surprised? I can clock that. If, if one is down, I'm okay. Stand the civilians at something that I could steal. Pulsars are just uh, too random. Like, I'm pretty sure that if I take with this ship 100 pulsars, I'm fine in 99 of them. But Maybe even more than 99, but it's just that it's they're too random for me. It's it's annoying, especially when they have a ship with uh, fast, dangerous weapons and um, and combat drones or drones in general. Like my ship is so good that at this point I don't think the pulse are really a risk. But still, no reason to take the risk. Rather going to the repair station than risking an empty jump or something that gives me low scrap reward. What? Well, whatever, let's start. So no shields. Then maybe doors. A bit annoying. But they should be fine. Mm. 
One down. Really triple it. Oh, never mind. I'm act. Of course, it triple it. What the fuck? Whatever. So face two mantas and human against the, the drone. Probably still upgrade indoors for phase three. I killed one. All oh, right. Of course, I killed that guy. He actually went down. Should have been level 3. I guess it doesn't matter. So I have to be careful about mind control. Mantis is here, I don't like it. Here. And then I think it will be fine. I can start with this, the NG here just to check their crew. And then I can do this. Come on. It's not that hard. That was very late. Stand the battery. Okay, moved. Fuck that. It's fine. Is it fine? It is not fine. Four damage, for sure. I wanted to say someone randomly died at the end of phase 2. Okay, nice. We didn't die the very first run of the new round. You know what? Let's remove everything. Let's go again. Federation A. Oh god, this thing is too. <sighs> what do I do? Like this. There we go. And down here as well. Federation A. So sector 1 was 
And to early game was bad. Early mid game was bad as well. Then late game and flagship were very easy. Um, so Albert, Flak, Burr's Laser 2, Avi. Nice weapons. Crew members. I think it was 6 or 7. I think 6. Shields 3, Engines, I think 6. Clock in 3, Hack in 3, Battery. Augmentations. I had nothing, right? No scanners, no nothing. So what happened this run? Low scrap early game. Both Albert, the Sector 3. Hacking Sector 2. Played Albert and Burst Laser to Sector 4. Sector 4, right? I think so. Yeah. Fifty five hundred. Scrap was very good in the end. It was only bad uh, early, early on. Probably 1890. Okay, not that much. 1797. Six misplays. And uh, that's it. Still be the free pre-igniter first jump.